I'm Erin Nicholas, and I'm a ceramic artist. I've been interested in art ever since I was a kid, ever since I can really remember. I would say my main subject for my ceramics is nature and God's creation. I feel like that's a big inspiration. I really like to reflect that beauty into my own work and complement what, what he's created for us. And I do that through, um, through a lot of sculptures and more recently through a lot of functional work. I feel like the art of ceramics involves lots of other practices and in art, including painting, printmaking, sculpture, drawing, even digital work too. I try to incorporate all that into my practice. Um, I would say I've, I've been in ceramics specifically for about six years now. Um, and, you know, it's really, you know, the start of my career um, in a sense. And I really want to explore this further. So I feel like ceramics in general is a very freeing art form. Um, I'm really drawn to just the feeling of the clay and forming it with my hands. I feel like it's very down to earth and I can really express myself with it. I'm not limited to um, tools or you know any type of machinery. You can really use it with the bare minimum. Um, I feel like it's a Again, a very freeing art form for anybody to use. I feel like it's a good, good gateway for anyone who wants to specifically get into 3D art, but not um, limited to that. Um, it's just a really good way to express yourself. Whether it's pinching the clay or throwing it on the wheel or, or using slabs to build the clay, there's just so many opportunities to create with it and build with it. So I've had, I've had a lot of people tell me what my style is, and it, it, I think it differs a little bit from what I think. Because um, I, I, I feel like I'm still kind of figuring out my style. Uh, I definitely think it's very nature inspired, it's very detail oriented. I still think it needs a lot of tweaking. A lot of people um, do notice the, the detail oriented part of it. And I feel like people see my style as a more serious style where I, I see it as a little bit more playful. I think if I were to sum my style up in one word, it would be nature. During my time at college, I created a series of hybrids mixed with animals and plants. Um, my very first one was actually in my very first ceramic class in college. Um, he was a he's a hawk and tree hybrid. Uh, the pro the project for college was to make a hybrid, and that kind of sparked to create more of them. Um, the second one included um, a hedgehog uh, combined with a rose bush, and that pushed me to create this to make it a series and to push it even further. The most recent part of my hybrid series is a camel and cactus hybrid. And I think this one is the most um, plant-based out of all of them. I explored more with this one with, with colors in general, with more brighter colors, and wanted it to really look like the plant was overcoming the animal part of it. Uh, so this guy was the third one in the series. This is a hybrid of the bristlecone pine tree, which is one of the oldest trees, and the tortoise, which is one of the oldest animals. I really wanted to push that connection. Um, so I took on a big project here, and this is probably the biggest piece I've made so far, because I tend to make smaller pieces. Um, so I think there's a bit of, there's a bit of pride in this piece um, for the time and energy I've put into it. And I, I would, you know, dare say that it's one of my favorite pieces. Um, I think he, he sums my art up in general for me. Um, and, it, you know, everyone who sees it can really see me in it and see life in this piece. And that's what I want to accomplish with my work is um, bringing them to life or bringing um, my inspiration to life with it.
Welcome to my studio. For me, it's this garage, but for you, it can be anywhere, really, as long as you got a surface to work on. Some basic tools are really just your hands, and most importantly, a little bit of clay. Uh, for me, it's a lot of clay. <laughs> but to create something um, in ceramics, you need to go through the three basic steps. So after you form something with clay, uh, it will go into the greenware stage. So right here is a cylinder that I've thrown on the wheel. Greenware stage is technically still clay. Um, it hasn't been fired yet. If you put water or something in it, it's going to collapse. It's not ceramic yet. So once it's fully completely dried, I put it in what's called a kiln. Uh, I'll fire that to um, a bisque fire, which is about 1960 degrees Fahrenheit. But what that does is it converts uh, the greenware chemically to what we know as ceramic. So it will no longer collapse when water is in it or dissolve. Um, it'll actually hold water, but it's still a bit porous. Uh, here is an example of bisqueware. So this is still a bit porous, which allows us to paint glaze on it, which is, consists of different chemicals. Um, and once that is fully dried, painted with the glaze, I'll put it back in the kiln and that'll fire to about 2200 degrees and will look something like this. Um, that's how I create most of my uh, unique pieces. You don't have to necessarily have one of your own kilns. Um, since I work primarily in ceramics, I've invested in my own, but there's um, public studios out there that you can rent kiln space in. So it really doesn't take much to get started. But once you get in fully invested in it, um, it's good to invest in more materials. Uh, so let's get into making something with clay. Throwing on the wheel is one process that does require a piece of equipment, the potter's wheel. And it does take a bit of time to learn, but it's, it's well worth it. a cylinder that I can turn into a mug later. Uh, thanks for checking in on this uh, small glimpse into the ceramic world and into my own personal process. Uh, if you'd like to see more of my stuff, I post weekly on my social media, which is Eniko Ceramics on Instagram and Facebook. I also have a website, uh, AaronNicholas.art, if you would like to see more of my past work. Uh, past videos, work for sale. I even enjoy doing custom orders. Um, 
I hope this inspired you to create something yourself. And if you have, uh, certainly um, let me know and show it to me. I'd love to see it. Thank you.